BioSteel is the new NHL hydration sponsor, which is strange because I ain't never heard of them. So I went to the store and bought a bottle and I'll do an honest taste test at the end of this video. But for right now, let's dig into the question, what is BioSteel? Well, first things first, it's not Gatorade, which I know is obvious, but when I think of a sports drink, I think of this. Gatorade is thirst aid for the deep down body thirst. Also, I'm pretty sure that every hockey player, at least from my generation, grew up drinking from these. They even had them on every NHL bench, and now they're all BioSteel bottles. They look like this. Strange. BioSteel and Gatorade even have somewhat similar origin stories. Gatorade was invented in 1965 by a team at University of Florida to help their college football team, the Florida Gators. The players weren't adequately hydrated and their performance suffered. Naturally, we called our stuff Gatorade. Makes sense. BioSteel was created in 2005 by then Toronto Maple Leafs strength and conditioning coach Matt Nickel, and he actually created a whole line of supplements that he would give to the players he was training. The BioSteel hydration mix was just one part of that, and this was kind of an interesting time in hockey history, because just in 2004 they put in drug testing, so players were looking for supplements that would give them the high performance results they were after while also passing the drug test. Matt worked very closely with the NHL players he was training over the next couple years, perfecting his recipes, mixtures, and supplements. In 2009, one of the players he was training was Mike Camilleri. Mike had complained in the past that it was really confusing to know when you should take each supplement, what exactly was in each one, he just wanted someone to tell him what to take, when to take it, and what was in it. When he saw and experienced what Matt was doing with BioSteel, not only did he fall in love with the product, he also saw a business opportunity. So he brought in his sports marketing friend John Salenza, and the three of them would form the actual BioSteel company. Mike introduces me to Matt, and we get the idea that we're going to start a business. So Matt's going to make the products, I'm going to run the business, and Mike's going to endorse it. So when, in meeting with Matt, he said to me, I'll go into business with you only one way, he said if we never compromise on the quality of our products. They started by just trying to get BioSteel in NHL locker rooms. They went team by team trying to sell it as a better alternative to Gatorade. The mix had a distinctive pink color, so viewers quickly noticed this bright pink drink coming out of players' bottles. Then, Gary Roberts went on TV and said they were all drinking BioSteel. What, what should a player be doing to hydrate? What kind of stuff well, is this? Well, this is a, I think this is an amino acid matrix that is made up. Uh, uh, Mike Camilleri takes it. I've taken it. It's called BioSteel. You see Mike Cam Camilleri here, who's a fitness guy and a health guy. The interest in the mix skyrocketed overnight. The team realized that every day people wanted BioSteel too, not only NHL teams. So they hacked together a website where people could pre-order BioSteel, and they were able to scale up their little operation to meet the new customer needs. Since then, they've had a plethora of partnerships of NHL, MLB, NBA, even NFL teams and players. They've been able to turn their initial success with players into commercial success, selling BioSteel products in convenience and grocery stores across Canada. 2019 Canopy Growth, a CBD company, bought a majority stake in BioSteel with the hope they could create CBD supplements, drinks, and mixes under the BioSteel name. This happened directly after the World Anti-Doping Agency took CBD off of its banned substances list. And at first, I thought this sounded really weird. A CBD athletic mix? But the idea is that athletes could turn to CBD instead of something like pills or alcohol to deal with chronic pain. A Goldman Sachs report labeled BioSteel as an emerging disruptor in the sports drink category that reminded them of an early stage body armor. And if you didn't know, body armor sold to Coca-Cola in 2021 for $5.6 billion. So it seems that BioSteel is in good company. Now recently they've started to make a big American push and they've already seen huge growth in the US market. Which brings us to the present day and BioSteel has become the main hydration sponsor of the NHL, furthering their advertisement in the US and Canadian market. But why should you buy a bottle? What separates them from Gatorade or Body Armor? The biggest difference is that BioSteel has zero sugar. They use Stevia Leaf as a natural sweetener, while Gatorade and Body Armor both have 21 grams of sugar in a 12 ounce bottle. Also, Gatorade has two electrolytes, sodium and potassium, while BioSteel has five. Sodium, potassium, calcium, chloride, and magnesium which are essential for helping the body return to a normal state after a hard workout. Also, many sports drinks contain food coloring dye, while BioSteel only uses natural coloring, which leads to the funny effect that if you leave your BioSteel outside, it can actually change colors due to how the sunlight affects the natural food coloring. Lastly, when talking about ingredients, it's important to note that BioSteel has 15 calories in a 16 ounce bottle, 
while a 12 ounce of Gatorade has 80 calories and a 20 ounce has 140 calories, which is a huge difference, especially if you're trying to lose weight or just counting calories. BioSteel also doesn't come in a normal plastic bottle. It comes in a bottle that's like papery or like cardboard. And on the bottle, it says it's recyclable, made from renewable materials, BPA and PET free, and the top is actually a plant-based cap, which I don't know how that works because it feels like normal plastic, but that's pretty cool. So BioSteel does seem like a good option if you're trying to reduce your plastics. Every grocery store near me carries it, and I bought my bottle for $1.99 US. I chose the mixed berry flavor, which comes in this nice rainbow container. There was a bunch of different flavors I could have got, but there's a promotional photo of McDavid drinking from one of these, so hopefully this makes me as good as him. But since BioSteel is a sports drink, and it's made for getting the best hydration possible for athletes, I think it's only fair that I do a workout before my taste test. So, let's go do that. Well, I'm back for my workout. I'm exhausted, I could really use something to drink, so let's just crack this bad boy open. Smells good. That's good. That's a lot sweeter than I was expecting because it has zero sugar in it. I thought it was going to kind of taste a bit funky, but... It almost has like a Kool-Aid-esque flavor to it. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot, actually. If you want to see more NHL content like this, like and subscribe.